Welcome to Attican Plays Airport CEO. All right, hi, this is Attican, and welcome to Series 1, Episode 7 of Airport CEO. And playing, uh, I'll remind you, Alpha 35. So, um, last episode I said at the end, didn't know if I was going to go large or go small. I've decided to go small, and the reason is that I want to get a general aviation airport back up. I want us to start doing that business again, supporting general aviation, because many, many uh, airports do, and I would certainly expect a, a regional airport to do so, and, and even international airports uh, have general aviation. So we're going to uh, set up a general aviation. The other reason I'm doing it first is because it won't be nearly as expensive an investment as the uh, you know bigger planes and bigger uh, you know bigger everything. Uh, bigger everything also means bigger costs. You know expensive runways and expensive uh, stands and the whole bit. So let's do a general aviation. Now we could put it a number of places. We could put it a number of places. Uh, we could think about, oh man, oh man. Who? Uh, my my original plan was to put it right up here. It will absolutely fit in this spot, you know, lengthwise, because you know these are these are squares. We have four squares to work with, and so a we could run a small runway, and uh, we 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 would even put a little building out there. It won't even get used. They'll just kind of look pretty to be the general aviation uh, room and we'll, we'll put she will put snacks in it and whatever a bathroom and, and it literally will not never have a person in it or be touched because there's no animation for the general aviation other than the planes they land they take off you remember if you think about how you, whenever you start an airport you put in general aviation they don't do anything now we could of course you know simply just take some of these and call them general aviation. Another option would be to, we've got the public access road. We could go over here. If we open this up, we could put general aviation right down here and still have plenty of room to, to set up our, our big boy stuff. But I don't want to do that. I think what I want to do is actually run it out here to the back and put it, as I said, right up there. So and we don't even wouldn't even have to do this. I'm going to give it a public a public access road, which is just literally not needed. Uh, and let me look right here. I want to see if we're going to be able to get around. Uh, let's see, public access. Yeah, yeah. We won't have to mess with those uh, pappy lights that are on this runway. We can just go right up through here like this and uh, run it down here like so. All right, and now let's figure out where we're going to put it. I, I, uh, I kind of like to leave these approach lights alone and maybe build above them. So why don't we do this? Why don't we put our road running down like this and we'll think of it as you know a little little uh, little building for it for so to for to support it and then the, the little little uh, airfield right up here so let's put in and we'll just go straight to uh, asphalt I think a small asphalt runway and yeah it fits just fine and I'd like to kind of think about this in terms of a little building, maybe four, and then two, three, oh, shoot. And then, uh, seven, is that right? Let me put that down. Let me see if that's right. A small stand. Is seven, sure enough. Whoops, 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 whoops. It's like I've never built one of these things. Okay. Let's try this again. I think I will put a small stand down though. And put it up four. Let 
like there's going to be a little building in here somewhere. And then uh, from this, we're going to want our uh, runway to be up four from that. Two, three, four. Beautiful. And then we'll put, shoot, again, it's like I've never, have you ever played this game? I, I swear I've played this game. Uh, runway. Five. Like so. Or not runway, taxiway. Then, runway. Up four from that. Then our entry exit. Now, come on. I'm clicking that. Click that. Shh. Click. Why is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. The, it, uh, yes, the, the um, interface can be a little bit irritating sometimes. All right. I want a parking place. Two, three, four, five six seven so this eighth one would be the middle all right that tells us where we want our building so we'll put a little building right off the middle of this one and it'll look it'll look like a regular terminal but it's just going to be like five wide and four deep that's perfect and we'll run our just for looks we'll run our drive right out to it like so and how we look, we're going through money pretty well. But the other reason, again, we can put this up pretty quickly with rel relatively cheaply and get it get it going. And uh, let's just keep this running. I should have had it running the whole time. Let's run faster. Now, in the last episode, for recap, we optimized all this. I realized I had goofed up and had one uh, baggage claim. I meant to assign it to the last available one of these, and I actually put it on a medium baggage truck, I'm saying, uh, for the small ones. So I fixed that uh, offline right before this started. And uh, other than that, I, I was thinking there was something else I wanted to do, but I, to be honest with you, I can't remember what it is. Now, how many contractors do we have? Do, do we have them all? We do. Good. All right. I want to get this done. The other thing we'll look into is before we start, after we get this set up, I don't mind them walking up there to do that, but after we get this set up, we're going to look in mo at moving our contractors and our building materials to a more convenient spot uh, for doing the, our next build. We'll have to think about that. So what's his problem? He can't pass through security check. Oh, oh, this was the other problem. <laughs> this is the other thing. I had both turned off both passengers and staff, which was uh, pretty stupid. So there, boom, now we can get a whole bunch of people over there. Remember I set this one up staff only, and I was trying to set all of these for no staff, and I ended up putting uh, nobody. Now the other thing I wish they would do is the ones who are going this way I wish they would go use this escalator that's what it's for kind of lesson learned you can make put two escalators in there to look make them look pretty but they they don't do you much good they really don't do you any good if uh, nobody will use them oh uh, and you know what I forgot um, I would like a little sidewalk, I think. No, no, no. We don't even need it. Um, <clears throat> there will literally be no people here. And uh, a big mistake we would could make, it would be to put like a, a car drop here or something or parking or something. Because if you do, sure enough, passengers will come up here, get off and look around and say, I don't know where to go. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> See, our money is doing nicely now. Uh, we're making very nice money. We did 800, 
well, how much? 600,000 of uh, construction and still made 200,000 yesterday or the last uh, full day we had. So, you know what? I'm not sure if it's the last full day, the last 24 hours from this point, but be as whatever it is, I think it was the last full day and it was, it was a good one. <laughs> they should all be good now. We should be rocking and rolling down here. These planes should be coming in and while they're building, we can just watch one. They're kind of fun to watch but we should see some really good service, uh, especially on these, well, on all of them, really. We should be able to get them in and out of here just as fast as they want to go. <clears throat> we get another commercial flight in here, we'll watch it. Uh, let me check how we're doing. Yeah, we got, we got more stuff to be done up there. Well, you know what though? I want to lay out the rest of it. I'm actually seeing this is going to be a nice big 15, um, 15 stand, um, uh, what's the word, uh, general aviation, sorry, general aviation um, little airfield up here. And, oh, and the one thing we do need, of course, we do need to have, <clears throat> excuse me, we need to be able to, to get up there with uh, at least one uh, fuel truck. And I think we're going to, shoot for one and see how that goes start with one and see how that goes so we want to go to the right floor and then we want to go over here like this and this can just come up and merge like so and then we'll put the rest of our uh, small stands in here Like so. And our runway entry exit. We can even start uh, with the pathing. General Aviation, oh good, they're by default, they're General Aviation, which is what we want. We will, now of course, don't need any of this, we will put a door, I uh, give them a large door, go first class. We'll give them a door here and a door out the front. And like I said, we're going, <laughs> and, this, and this is totally for decoration, we're going to put in, uh, let's see, where would they be? Terminal. We'll give them a vending machine, drinks, and um, well, let me think bathroom first. Bathroom. Okay, I want to give them a bathroom probably right here in this corner. <clears throat> Be unisex, and it'll have one, two, three, two, three. <laughs> That's it. Three by three. <clears throat> and we'll put in. Uh, Toilet and sink and dryer and a small door, a wallet off. It'll be for everybody. And um, <clears throat> what else can we put up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. So we could put a vendor out there if we wanted to. They would literally get no sales, but we would make money from it. Oh, that would be cruel, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be cruel? Uh, yeah, that would. That's, I, I can't do that. I'm, I'm not that cruel. Okay, let's put. Let's give them a. Give them a sofa or two. Let's give them a little conversation area. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what put me in this kind of uh, decorative mood. I'm usually not, usually I uh, could care less about this kind of stuff, but we'll give them a little area to, area there and we'll give them uh, uh, round tables. I don't think, I don't think if you put round tables together, they, 
No, they don't. Uh, they don't do much for you. I, I mean, we could actually go over here and get the food counter. No, it won't, it, only in a food room. Oh, well. Let's get our square tables. Actually, let's just put one like that and give them some flowers. Uh, little flowers over here in the corner. Like that. Little lounge area. Actually, uh, uh, doesn't need to be. <laughs> let's put it over here. Doesn't need to be right in the bathroom. And we can even give them carpet, my goodness. And uh, uh, they need anything else. It's about it. They were pretty limited in the amount of uh, in uh, decorative items, and that's fine because I'm not much of a decorator anyway. Oh, I know what we will need. We will need some fuel. We will need a small av gas. Uh, which we can put right there. And I'm going to put in a parking... Where, where is it? Here. I'm going to put in a little parking... Uh, service parking lot like that There's our delivery. We're getting our av gas. And I'll go ahead before I forget it and buy one um, av gas truck. And I think I'd like to go ahead and get a large one. I think one, one good size. We'll just get one good size one. That should take care of the whole thing. to follow a plane. <laughs> I forgot about it. Here we go. Here's one. From Medford, Oregon, I guess it is. Okay, now let's let's watch this. Um, <clears throat> because these were parked right there, the uh, chair, or the stair rather, came right to them immediately. The belt loader is coming right to them immediately. Their uh, baggage truck is coming straight to them. The ramp agents are out there, but they'll go, they started this, but now they'll go straight to baggage unloading, and they'll do that as fast as they can. And the passengers are already deboarding. And now the ramp agents will go ahead and continue their service round while that um, baggage truck goes off. The baggage truck will dump that baggage and, and then while he's over there, pick up. So he makes one round trip. He'll pick up the baggage that has to go back out. The catering's already taken place. The cleaning's already done. So all we have to do with this plane is get that baggage um, back over there. And there he comes. 
and now we're already, as he's uh, boarding over here, we've already finished the uh, uh, baggage. These guys park and stay ready for the next one. And this guy is in there and out of there. <laughs> out, out of the gate early and bye-bye. And that's the way they'll all be. And look at this. I talked this right through getting this finished. Let's open up General Aviation. Finish this off. And this will be General Aviation Small Aircraft. Uh, go. And we should have one uh, truck that's for Avgas. There he is, and we're going to assign him to the small service vehicle parking lot, which is up here. That's the very reason I built it. So he, if, when he, if he's having some downtime, he's going to go up there and hang out. And there he goes. And we can turn on operations. We can turn Avgas back on the way we had it way back when in episode one. And there's our, our truck, and he's already being called out uh, and called to duty. And there we go. That's all it took. There we go. We, we did a little overkill with this little building just for the sake of it. Uh, let's open up the bathroom that no one will ever use. And uh, there we go. We've got General Aviation back on board, kind of tucked away in a corner, not taking up any room, and uh, good deal. Now, um, and we probably got a little extra time here. This has been a very long video. Uh, I, I, um, let's watch. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Let's watch. Let's watch one of these small planes. See, they don't. I mean, they do have some parking. See, the, see, his baggage is parked right there, uh, right there, ready to go. So when he comes in, watch, watch what happens. Um, the baggage is right there. So. Our ramp, he deboards. Our ramp agents are already uh, unloading the, the uh, baggage. He's already got his fuel. So all that has to happen now, if I can click on the right thing, let's follow this truck, or this uh, baggage truck. They've unloaded the baggage. He'll just make a run straight over there to the appropriate bay wait his turn, unload, and then he'll go straight over to the other side and load up with the uh, baggage that that plane needs. Off he goes, and that's it. That's, that's an efficient load, uh, uh, an unload and processing of the plane. That's absolutely beautiful. So this guy is ready to go. Um, is there anything else he's missing? So he's gotten everything he, he wanted, and he doesn't leave until 1829 there. He's boarding now, and he should be ready to go. Come on, buddy. There you go. Off, off he goes. I think he's about 10 minutes late. Shame on him. All right, I don't know what else to tell you about that. That was super simple, and that's the way if we had just wanted to going to have just a general aviation uh, you know to begin the game that's probably probably how I would have done it right there just a straight hook off hook up off the taxiway you don't have to build a bunch of extra taxiways you don't need anything else out there so it's super easy so now we've got uh, a really good solid general aviation uh, airfield we've got our main terminal with concourse A serving small planes concourse B uh, medium planes and now what else do we want to get into? Well, one thing is we want money for that space. If we're going to have space there, we want somebody paying us nice money for it. All right, so uh, let's just see. And look at this, we're already up, back up to a million. Uh, how do we do this week? Uh, look at this, or this day. Day two, year two, which means they're reporting out on day one. Day one of year two, we made a million dollars. 
Uh, we did a ton of construction. It cost us maybe probably a million to uh, put that in, that general aviation. But we, we made a million excluding the, the construction. So we're starting to look like a real airport. And baggage wise, we're handling 6,000 passengers and 2,800 bags. And you can see we're doing a really good job with the scanning and the destruction. Everything's lovely. Uh, I'm not sure what good productivity is, but 269% seems good to me. I don't know what a what the bellwether is. We'll have to figure that out. And uh, we did a bunch of building, of course, because we built a whole new airfield. And I think I'm just going to make this a short one and, and call it quits right there. Um, by the way, anybody who's uh, watching these, if you have questions, if there's something you don't follow or, or uh, um, you know, you're not quite getting it, put it in the comments. I'm delighted to answer questions. I'll even mention your question and answer it during future videos. Um, and the other thing is those of you who are expert players at this, don't be shy. Uh, pop in there with your comments, uh, you know, things we could do better, uh, things you like, whatever. Uh, keep the comments coming. That, that's what kind of keeps my interest in making the videos. Otherwise, I would just go play the games. So I uh, hope, hope this was a good one for you. Uh, super simple, super quick, super short. And uh, I hope you'll join us on the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for our next Airport CEO video. Thank you.